Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I was really hoping you'd stop by so I could wish you a happy season, a happy solstice, and that's what I want to talk to you about. Here is the winter solstice, which will bring about a divine level of holding love really holding that divine level of love. That's what we're coming into, especially now that we've turned the corner on the seasons. So some of the things I want to talk to you about today, there's several key points to talk about. One is that the mommy and daddy twin flame couples are ready to fire and launch. And these were the messages I was getting. I was seeing pictures of rocket launches, uh, visions of that, visions of people just taking off and flying. These type of imagery letting me know it's here. And I'm one of them. As you can see, I, I managed to find the things I need. I'm one of the mama bears. I'm a mama bear. I am one of the rod and staff unions. The rod and staff unions are upgrading to a level necessary for aligning, and that means aligning what's here to the next levels, preparing and readying people so that they can truly also go to the next level, elevating them and being able to hold the love. Holding the love is a tangible thing. It's not just an emotion. It's not just, oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I feel brotherly love for you. Oh, I feel a soulmate love. It's holding the essence of who you are. The other thing will then happen. Then other twins, which will be the next waves, can participate in their own unions in getting their own stardust energy fired up, integrating and practicing with each other. This is going to be a time of testing, testing what you know, testing how well developed your light body is, how open and expanded you are and how much you're holding. It's not a test of your commitment or your love for your twin. Because that actually already is in place, even in, if the acknowledgement right down to this level is still coming out of their mouth or out of your mouth. For the second and third wave angelics, it's not quite time yet, so please hold steady because the rod and staff unions have to be able to light it up, fire the grid. And that's the next part of what's coming. So this is why you're hearing some of the um, messages out there that you might say, hmm, I'm not sure what part of that resonates with me. You may be a part of the second and third wave that are benefiting from what's going to happen here in this next season, from this through January, right into February, and then fling you again for the March equinox. Now, there's, there's several other things that are still going to keep happening. We are in a retrograde right now. Yes, it's the last retrograde of the year. What does this mean, though, for Twin Flames? What this means is a bit of rewind, reset, integrate, receive, transcend, transformation. So this is what this retrograde means for twin flame couples who have met each other at least once. What it means for all the rest of the planet is they're going to sit on hold and maybe their stuff doesn't work right because it's, it is like having a traffic cop say, hang on there a minute, we've got to get these people across the street. We've got to get them to where they need to go. We've got to get these people where they need to go. Are you a mommy and daddy union? If you are, you know, because usually everything blasted open for you all at once. You found that your body was in six different places and you began this massive 
um, scaling down of your human life so that you could collapse and integrate everything into yourself. And a lot of you have been feeling like you're on hold. Now this is where it gets critical, ladies and gentlemen, because it's exactly at this point that many people are saying, you know what, I don't think I can wait when you're right at the mountaintop. It is in sight. And you're turning around and you're going back down the hill. That's a retrograde for you. You will come out of it again, but you'll come out of it in some cycle next year. So I have a little depiction here because, you know, that's what I do is try to depict some of this. So here you have a lovely person who has felt that she is here for love. And this could be a she or a he. Here for love here for true love, here for the one true love. And along the way, she has met various soulmates. There's this person who's, well, the feet were in, they could make a few connections and it didn't quite work out, mainly because he wasn't able to. He was still in 3D. As she found herself transcending some of these levels, she met another soulmate, and he was available from the waist down. Pretty good at uh, some of the sexual energy, and yet unavailable from the waist up. He just wasn't available. She couldn't really connect with him, communicate with him. And each of these people have been like a stepping stone for her until the next one, and she found that while he was very mentally stable, he was a good provider protector. He was very logical. He made sense. He took control of a lot of things. He really, there was no heart in it. She couldn't find herself connected to the heart. And she really didn't want to, you know, delve into that area to get into some intimate places with him. You know, this one, he just, it was one or the other. Either you're getting the mind or you're getting the body. And this one, well, he was so dangly, she just didn't know where anything stood. And each soulmate relationship to help her grow, they were like stepping stones. And here, and you have this person who is very protective of themselves, very logical, and with the armor on. Okay, and there's no getting through. And she wondered at that. She said, why are these people only partly available? Nobody's been able to turn her life upside down or get her a ticket out of her here. Completely getting out of here and launching herself into the next levels and literally the mind-blowing out-of-body experiences with her true love. They haven't been existing. She didn't really feel like staying in the same bed with this person, even though he was good for a lot of things. And then she felt bad, like maybe she just shouldn't be there. Maybe it was a false person. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe she was just using him because he was convenient and comforting and stable, and yet her heart was missing, all the time missing her twin. Missing, missing, missing. And her twin is not non-existent. Her twin exists. And he continues to lead her along through all of the stepping stones. However, anything that is going to continue to get them together, it has to be from the, these two. It absolutely has to be them drawing towards each other without any interference. Another thing, how do they call to each other? How do they literally call to each other through a dimensional barrier? How do you do that? How do you do it? She's over here living or hanging with soulmates and her twin is here. How would they do that? It is going to be through your angelic senses, through your cosmic heart. How many of you have been practicing using your angelic voice? 
That's something to feel. Feel it. Have you been using your angelic voice? Because you're not going to have telepathy. You've had telepathy with soulmates and look where it's gotten things sometimes. People have used it. So it's going to be true heart communication. What is your angelic voice? It's these parts of you. How do you get it going? I do have ways for you to get it going because it is a part of your subtle body. When you are not in these bodies, you will still be communicating with each other. And this is a big part of the reason why do the 3D communications break down? Why would these people seem unavailable in certain ways? There's a reason. Now, along with this, the very next thing is going to be what I call the rod and staff unions. And here are the mommy and the daddy twin flame couple. Rod and staff unions are like the hub of a wheel. And at each spoke, you have family, you have friends, you have children, and little by little, they will begin to dance in their union and really get themselves into place. And as they do, they're rising up and they're launching. Okay, they're dancing with each other. There is a centripetal force here with this, whereby they are pulling and magnetizing to them everything that belongs to themselves, to each other, and not the rest of the world. But this is how when the very atomic particles of them begin spinning and vibrating very highly, you will have the elevating effect that you produce on other people. You will tune them. You're going to get your family accustomed to you and your energies. And this is what we're doing in key grid points all over the world. And it is lighting up. The grid is in place. The hard work has been done. And now it's going to be the fun stuff. Light up the grid. Light it up, light it up, light it up. And that's what we're doing. Now, in terms of, you know, how is this? How is it really? I have this beautiful picture by Jack Vetriano. It's called Dance Me to Eternity, I think. This is in my house. And each couple, just like it's depicted here, each couple is dancing off into their own destiny with each other. This is not an en masse thing. That is why the mommy and daddy twin flames, we have acted and behaved as mommies and daddies. The nurturers, the providers, the gifters, that is the biggest thing right now that we are doing is we are gifting the very last parts of the light body templates, the connections that are needed so that people can do this with each other. And just like good parents, we are making sure of it. So hence, it, it is taking a long time. It has taken a long time. At the most, we've asked people, sit tight, stay still, hold steady. Don't go trotting back into ancient history. Don't go trotting back into 3D. Don't pick up your old stuff, the old comforts. Don't go cuddle with someone. Why? Because it is almost here for you. In fact, now it's here. So we already know who these people are without having a naughty or nice list. We know who they are. I know who some of them are. You know in your heart if it's you. I only know if I've had a session with someone. You know this in your heart if it's you. If you're meant to be with your true love, you're going to feel it. And this is the season that a lot of people, you know, they look around them and some of the facade is there and some of the genuine warmth is there. And they want that. You want most to be able to fall into each other's white light, rest, and make love 
for the rest of your time. And you will. And for some people, it's coming up here very quickly. For those second and third waves, I encourage you, hold steady. Now, this is also the season of, it's a season of light. It's a season of talking about the light. The solstice is a balance of the light and the dark. We've been spending months balancing the darkness in ourselves, catching our stuff, just keeping whatever is essential. And you're still going to do that. But this is also where in certain cultures, we're celebrating the birth of a child. But this isn't the birth of just one child. This is the birth of our children. And it's also the new birth. The new birth is firstly our love. Then it's our other creations, which will be offspring. It will be endeavors you know, such as your callings of the heart, it will be businesses, it will be travel, it will be the next parts of the grid stuff that you're doing, and it's going to be ley line level things that you're doing. New birth, that is the third energy that you are making. You are here to literally make more love. You are here to help fire the grid. You are here to Give a fresh infusion into life. Someone else who may not know who they are will feel it as an inspiration. They'll feel that something divine has guided them to do what they were meant to do. Or they invent something that's the solution for something. And for some of you, you're quite literally just intended to be with your person. To be with your true love and to stay with them. Now, in order to get to these places, you have already promised each other that you'd be here, which is why you met. Don't discount that. Don't go to sleep on your own ascension. Don't go to sleep on your own awakening. This is going to be the bigger wake-up call for people next year. It's going to be those friends and lovers that fall away from you, just like on a rocket launch where the things propping up just fall away and you have the new relationship and union, the full physical union, which you are here to anchor fully physical right through your body into the connections here. Some of you are becoming very aware of being the living grid. Some of you are aware of one of the mommy and daddy twin flame rod and staff unions nurturing you, holding you within their essence. And now it's time to be set free from that because you will be free to fly on your own. You will. You don't have to be afraid. The fear of the unknown is what is holding everyone back when they do. But what do I want to assure you, just like good parents, would be to their new babies, to their new creation, to the young souls that we've brought here and that we've been getting accustomed to each other again. Those introductions will be fresh. Your other will feel brand new to you. And this is the gift. This is the gift that is especially for this season. It is the promises that have been kept. Be new, be together, be the way that you envisioned it, be the way that you already had a taste of it, and simply be the angelic that you are. A lot of your new creations, so this is not just the birth of one special child who came to one part or one ascended master who lived on the earth in any timeline or culture. This is about all of you. And you're either a mom and dad or you're the children of the moms and the dads, in which case everything the moms and dads have is in you. It's up to you to start bringing it out, and you'll continue to expand. So one of the things that I have outlined here, the rod and staff unions, 
If you are a rod and staff union, a couple of the things that you'll be aware of is literally having the higher level rod come right down in and almost right through your human body. That's how it feels. That's one of the characteristics of this. You may have been practicing going to other levels because your energy is a column of light. And sometimes having certain levels or footholds, this is going to be very apparent to you. Another thing that's going to happen for people, if you're in this wave that's going to be together, you'll feel and sense doors are closing. Doors are closing behind you left and right. That's also what we're doing. The closing of the door of 3D has a very, very short grace period and a very, very short reception period. So if you're invited to this party, which all of you are, but you're in the door, you'll feel the door close and you'll be receiving for a short time and then it's going to be togetherness time. For those of you who are together, get ready for some fireworks because the bells and whistles that are in you and activated will continue to fire and go off and get each other ready for several types of merges. That is what I teach. That is what I teach on how to how do you get ready? How do you release and get your body ready for these fabulous experiences? I wouldn't be a very good mama if I didn't have ways for people to do things. Now, other twins will participate in integrating. You're integrating each other. You're getting to know each other. The very parts of you that belong connected and melded and merged together. That is what you are holding and you're practicing. The practice isn't, can you make a good cup of coffee in the morning? The practice is going to be with your light body. That's what it really is. And just like I was showing you with this effect, um, how I knew some of this was I started realizing, hey, wait a minute. I feel like a hub of energy. That's how I feel. I feel all these things and people and places gravitating around me. And furthermore, that no matter what I do, I'm sucking everything in. I'm drawing it in and I'm either collapsing it and transmuting it really pretty darn quick. Okay? And for some of you, the training wheels are going to come off. It's going to be for real. For some others who are the mommy and daddy rod and staff unions, and by the way, there are a lot of gay and lesbian couples who are the rod and staff unions. Those energies are still within of the masculine and the feminine. The very high divine masculine, very high divine feminine are within whatever gender body the couple is in. So while I have a male-female couple here depicted, this could just as well be two females or two males, okay? And their energy will continue helping to fling things off of people. Those people may not know it. If you've been discouraged by your family, and furthermore, if you have a kind of family that you feel is toxic, okay, when you align with your twin, their toxic stuff is not going to affect you as much. You are intended to have people near your union, just not hanging on you, not putting the hook in anymore, not where they are going to affect you to. It's the opposite. It's exactly what I'm showing you here. And while I'm talking here specifically as a rod and staff union, this is, this is, in some ways, provides a centrifuge that pushes the debris out, but it's also a centripetal force, similar to a tornado or dance, where your center of gravity really, it, well, it's not really a center of gravity, but you're pulling everything, and the more in and centered it is, it is both calm and it's harmonious, and it is going to provide 
a rate of vibration that is very high. You know, you could use uh, an analogy of an ice skater. When they have their arms out, they slow down. When they bring it all in, they speed up. And that's just a 3D analogy for you. That's a 3D depiction of something that is 5D and beyond. And not only that, your parts do melt together where one hand it doesn't feel like a hand in glove. It feels like you now have one hand with each other. That you have one lung and your twin has the other lung. You have one side of the heart, they have the other. And you receive and it's reciprocal. This is the number one complaint of people. They don't feel that the love is reciprocal. However, when you are on the other side of that 3D door, you will begin to feel who you really are and who it is in 3D. Now, a lot of what I do talk about here, I outline with great detail and also with a guided meditation in my abundance webinar. It's available on my website. It's available at the link below. I would love for everyone to be in their physical union next year and knowing full well that there are these second and third waves of angelics. If you are someone who feels you're about to give birth and the signs might be all over your body, you might feel bloated, you might feel crampy, you might feel weepy, you might feel cranky, like that baby just needs to come out. You might feel new skin or burning nerves. Um, you might feel extra hormonal. And this is both men and women. It doesn't matter what gender body you're in. Remember that during this retrograde energy, you are going to finish some things so that you can leap forward. And that's an on-purpose thing. So if you need some help with that, especially the guided meditation I do in here, to help you put other people on the outside of your union energies, that's in there. That's a part of it. It's also very good for many of these other endeavors and callings, your business, the offspring, helping the children, everything that is related to helping you feel fully abundant. Because abundant doesn't just mean money or someone shows up with a bushel of fruit for you. It means full abundance in every area of your life, health, wealth, well-being, fun, excitement, romance, a social life if you want it, travel, everything that people do dream about. Everyone's dreams are different. So this is addressed in a very general way, no matter what culture you come from, no matter what nationality or ne ethnicity you are, no matter how you were brought up. This is here done at the highest level possible so that you're actually concluding agreements where you started them. So I'd like to wish you all a very happy holiday season here if you celebrate. Make sure that you do take good care of yourself. Be kind and gentle. Be willing to not be upset with your true love. Be willing to love them and at the very least, have your internal jury out for the holidays. No judgments, no anger. All of those low level things will be a block to you in receiving what's here for you, especially as we fire it up. You may not know what to do, but believe me, if you're receptive, you're going to experience. And what could be better than that? So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful holiday. If you celebrate Hanukkah or Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Solstice. And coming next year, this is going to be a really fabulous year for those people who have had the pedal to the metal, getting their work done and get everything lined up. It will serve you well. So thanks again. Enjoy and just be yourself. Bye.